Hello, welcome back to Freedom Breed TV. Um, today, we're going to be looking at something important um, that is going to impact and affect our life positively. Today, we're going to be considering seven games to avoid for you to enjoy financial freedom. Seven games to avoid for financial freedom. Blame is the first game. The blame game. The blame game. Do you want to be successful? Do you want to enjoy financial freedom? Then you must make up your mind to avoid blame. 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 What am I talking about? You see some people, the time they would have used to follow the process to be financially free, they sit down and wallow in thoughts and wallow in playing the blame game what is the blame game why is my parents not wealthy why did my parents not send me to school why is it that i wasn't given birth to in america why am i giving birth to in this poor country People spend time blaming all kind of things, blaming, costing blame, blame. They blame their family, they blame their brothers, they blame their sisters. Listen, they are not the cause of your problem. Listen to me. You can decide your destiny. You can take your destiny into your hand. Forgive and forget whoever or whatever. You don't have to remain in that state of casting of blame. Stop blaming people. It's time for you to settle down and strategize. History and research has made us to understand that most of the wealthy people, if not 90% in the world today, they are not even from a wealthy or rich background. They take a decision not to cast the stone of blame on anyone and so they determine, they desire, they diligently pursue their goal and at the end of the day, they were successful. So, number one, avoid the blame game. Don't blame everybody. It's my father who sent me to school. Don't worry. Those are past tense. In the present tense now, what can you do to better your life? Forgive and forget whoever. They, it may be You may be right. In fact, you are right. I know. But if your life and financial status must change, you have to leave all those things behind. And now begin to ask, what must I do to be successful? When you know the, the, the way, the pathway, follow the step. You'll be successful at the end of the day. Number two is the excuse game. See, excuse is very cheap. Excuse is everywhere. But you see success? Success is not cheap. There is a price you have to pay. In fact, excuse is the food of the lazy man. The lazy woman is the food of the lazy if you want to enjoy financial freedom, you must stop giving of excuses. Determine to be successful. Throw away every excuse. Whatever state you are now, there were people that were in a more bad and worse state and they were determined and did not allow their excuses to use them negatively, but they use their excuses as a stepping stone and as a means to their successful end. So I don't, I don't have time to begin to talk much on excuses. You know what I'm talking about. Whatever is the excuses, you have to throw it aside. Excuse of I want to sleep a little. Excuse that I will, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Whatever excuse that has been drawing you back, you have to lay it aside to make progress and enjoy financial freedom. What other games we need to avoid? Number three, the fearful game. You see, a lot of us, 
we are so afraid that we don't even take any risk in life. Listen to me. It is more riskier not to take a risk. A lot of people say because they are afraid, they're not going to fly the airplane. They're not going to fly with the helicopter. They're not going to fly. They prefer to drive. Do you know that that same people that avoid the aircraft because of the fear of the aircraft and driving on the car, they still what they are trying to avoid, they still encounter it even with the car. So you see, life is a risk. The advice I have for you is take calculated risk. Don't allow fear to debacle you. Don't allow fear to deny you financial freedom. Throw away your fear. Exchange your fear with faith. What is fear? False experiences appearing real. Some of those things that you think that is the cause of your fear, they are not real. They are just the, 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 the discouraging factor to hinder you from getting to your place of financial freedom. So avoid the fearful game. Avoid it. Avoid it. Number four, the know-it-all game. You think you know everything. You don't want to look, you don't want to seek for information from other people. You don't want to seek, you, you, you don't want to, you don't want to find out solutions to problems from other people. Listen, whatever you are or whatever you think you want to do, someone has done it before. So save yourself the stress to get the knowledge from those people that have done it so that you don't repeat or amount so much mistake on what you would have been able to avoid because of the game of I know it all. Nobody's an island. Nobody knows it all. Nobody. So endeavor to avoid so much mistakes in the pathway to financial freedom by learning from other people. Listen to me. To avoid making so much mistakes, learn from other people's mistakes to minimize your mistake. It helps you to cut costs and activate financial freedom. Number five, the game of comfort zone, the comfort zone game. You have to begin to yearn after financial freedom. Don't be comfortable. Don't be comfortable. Whatever you are or whatever you have today, you can still have more. Don't be comfortable. Don't be comfortable. A house that is filled with money, when you're spending the money every day and there is no other way you are bringing in money, that money will finish one day. So get out of your comfort zone. There are jobs and things you can do to make money, but because you feel no, I have a university degree, I have a master, I have a PhD, fine. It's good to have them. But you see, you have to leave your comfort zone. When the, when the desirable is not available, make the available to be desirable. Wherever you are hearing me. It's very important. Number six, avoid the judgmental game. Who told you that every people, every person, and everyone that is wealthy today, who told you that all of them got their words through a wrong way? Throw that judgmental, judgmental attitude and game away. There are a lot of people that are successful today. That success is a good success. They pay the price. You have to pay the price to be successful. There is a pathway. You have to follow the pathway to enjoy financial freedom. So endeavor to avoid the judgmental spirit. And let me use this opportunity to correct, especially those of you in, in developing country. Who told you? Where did you get that information? That you have to sacrifice somebody for you to be wealthy? 
Oh my God. That is ignorance of the highest order. That is an attribute of a, a lazy man that is no that wants that wants sources, it wants shortcuts to sources. There is a price to pay. You don't have to offend God and be a killer or kidnapper to make money. Stop the ritual, the ritual, the ritual, uh, ritual uh, killing. Stop the kidnapping. Wherever you are hearing me all over the world, you can't make money by pulling other people down. You can't make money by frauding other people. Settle down. You can get this money. You can be financially free if you are willing to pay the price. There are pro it's a process. It's a step. Follow the process and you will get the result. So avoid the judgmental game. Number seven, avoid the people-pleasing game. You want to please everybody. Money you are supposed to invest you give it out. Can I tell you, that money you give out, if you have invested it, would have given you a return that you'll be able to give to that person. But what you have just done to give the person your investment is that you lose, the person lose. Because by the time the person finishes that money, will come back again. And you don't, you don't have the multiplier effect to get another money. So you see, you see the disadvantage right now. Do not, I say again, do not, eat your investment or please people with your investment i'm not against you people some of you that take your friends out and you spend money lavishly you have to be wise this year stop wasting money on food and drinks that will not give you return invest on things that will give you return so avoid this pleasing of people because at the end of the day, they are not going to stay with you to bear the consequence. They will all leave you. So why do you have to waste your resources? Number eight, subscribe to this channel. I told you when I started, there's going to be seven games to avoid for financial freedom. So I don't know why you're expecting number eight. But if you want to buy it, I'll give it to you. Subscribe to this channel. If you enjoyed this uh, video and you are really impressed and you have been impacted by these things I'm sharing with you, uh, please, please subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell so that immediately I upload any video, you'll be notified. Share the video. Give it a thumbs up. Like it. Let me know that you're listening to me. Let me know that you are following me. Let me know that... You are being impacted and you are learning from these things I'm saying. S let me stop by saying I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Till I come your way again. Bye.